Hey, what's up, everyone? We're back playing some Pharmacy Simulator. Let's get started. For now, though, I really should buy more of this stuff just to restock my shelves. All right, there we go, 580. Bang. Oh, that's a lot of money. But at least I'll be able to restock my shelves real nice now. What is this? Pacifiers? Okay, hold on. Uh. No, it's not okay all right now i'm gonna have to like look like where did i put these again yeah once they're gone it actually takes the label off of the thing which kind of sucks i wish even if the item was gone they would have kept the label on it still all right another day another dollar in the minus profit again and okay i really need to start focusing on maybe leaving some money at the end of the day so i think i'm going into i don't think i'm paying my debts uh yeah i think today today i gotta focus on getting money and then not spending it because I'm owing a lot of money. All right, 25. Oh, that's a good bit of prize money. And we got the green license. Oh, and a whole bunch of new medications sick although i might use this money to pay off my debts first so i'm i don't know if i'm gonna buy the green license off rip all right i think i have enough money to where i can still buy a few shelves though and we're definitely gonna need some more of these product shelves so let's just this is a little steep but if I just buy three now, I likely eh, I won't need a whole lot more. I hope. So let's just go ahead. And another thing is we're kind of due for a little overhaul of the pharmacy here. So very soon. Here, <laughs> I really should uh, maybe finish up the walls and finish up the tile and make everything look real nice because right now it looks a little janky right, let's try to get this at least in in line okay there we go yeah i'm gonna have to finish all these add more lights i gotta play i gotta make this place look a little less janky but oh so now the real question is do i spend money on the products or do i keep going farther in debt I don't want to buy at least like one of everything. Oh, that's 300, but it's 300, but it'll make me money, right? How much is all this? 1300? Okay, but it'll make me money back, right? Let's buy some of these. Oh, I won't be able to buy that one. Oh, I can actually buy all this. Okay. All right, there we go. We got some good stuff, though. And again, this is all extra money that we spent, but all this stuff will give me profit in the end, right? So, is it really a bad thing, you know what I mean? Alright, so we got some blood pressure monitors, those things are goaded. Okay, everyone, let's talk about how to take your blood pressure at home. At few of the pharmacies that I worked at, I did have to counsel patients on how to properly do this with the device that we sell them. Let's talk about some of the important things. You want to take your blood pressure when you're fairly relaxed. So you don't want to have any caffeine or smoke or exercise at least 30 minutes before your reading. Oftentimes, I tell everyone to take it when they wake up in the morning. Now, you're going to want to sit for a few minutes before you actually take this reading. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and sit down. 
the arm that we're measuring the pressure from, we want that to be at the same level as our heart. So as you can see in the picture, you usually want to put up your arm on some form of a table to make sure to get that elevated. Now, go ahead and put the blood pressure cuff on your arm. You're going to want to make sure it's the proper size. Some are fitting, adjustable. Some though are sized, small, medium, large. So if you have an adjustable, adjust it to your arm. If you need a certain size, um, I would just, <laughs> you know, look it up, see what size you need. It's fairly obvious. If you're a kid, you need a small. If you're a normal sized adult, you need a medium. If you're obese, you probably need a large. Simple as that. All right, when you put the cuff on, you're gonna wanna put it right above your elbow and tight enough where you can put two fingers under the cuff. Not too tight, but not too loose. If it falls off, it is too loose. Now, oftentimes these blood pressure cuffs have a little symbol to line up with your brachial artery. What is your brachial artery? It is the giant artery that basically runs down your elbow here. It is where you're basically measuring your blood pressure. So if there's a little mark, make sure to line that up with your pinky. Some do, some don't have those. So just, you know, see what yours looks like. Go ahead, hook the blood pressure up to your monitor. Make sure your monitor has batteries, press start and let it take your blood pressure. If you don't know what the blood pressure actually is supposed to be, no Harvard, this is it. Uh, yeah, go ahead, screenshot this if you need it, but this is important. And then we got some normal thermometers, no contact. What is a sterile gas compress? I'm assuming they mean sterile gauze compress. Sterile gas? Yeah, that's not a thing, bro. Hydro, hold on. That is a hydrophilic bandage. Hydrophilic means like water loving. That's just a bandage that likes to get wet. All right, you learn something new every day. Yeah, there are bandages that unlike standard bandages, they have an ingredient that turns to gel when it absorbs fluids, such like pus. All right, well, we ran out of room again. So we'll just have to keep it, keep this stuff in storage until we can afford to buy more of these shelves. But what's nice is I actually made, you know, we spent so much money on all this stuff and we still are going to end up with probably like over a thousand dollars. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that money to pay off my debt. So I don't have to declare bankruptcy instantly. Maybe I should buy some lights though. This place is looking a little jank. Electronic. I still, okay, I don't know what this scale is. So, you know what? I'm just going to buy that scale. Um, fluorescent light. Let's just buy, like, two of those just to see what they look like. All right, what is this? Where's the scale? Right here. What in the world is this? Why do I need a scale? I'm so confused at what I'm supposed to do with this, but I'll just leave it there and am I charging like per use or something? I, I don't really understand here. All right, fluorescent light squared. Uh, wait. Oh, I do get paid payment. So I just get paid whenever someone. Wait, what? Can I set like how much I get paid? Okay, I probably should have bought that a while ago if I just get paid for people taking their weight. That's crazy. Do I get paid more if they weigh more? Like, am I making money off obese people right now? You know what? If I'm making money off these scales, let's just buy two more. I don't know if this is a complete waste of money, but look, if these things are making me money, Screw it, let's get every single person that walks in here to take their weight. There we go. Alright, plenty plenty of scales for plenty of people. That's right, yeah, go, go, go and take your weight. I still wish I could, like... How much am I charging? Yeah, it looks like I'm charging $4. Which is <laughs> a lot for somebody's weight. And then this fluorescent light bulb... All right, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and just keep this $1,000 for the end of the day. Let's see how much the bank takes away from me. 
I wouldn't be surprised if they just like take all of it. But I will need a little bit of money to buy more product. That's kind of my problem. Okay, so I can move on to the next day. But I'm going to let these homies finish up real quick. Alright, come on, lady. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's finish up the day. Oh, yeah, they took all of it. Look at that. Yeah, they. I had a thousand, they yoinked all of it. Oh, no, I have like no money for product. Okay, but let's let's take a look at the bank. Yo, wait a minute. How is my remaining debt so high still? Dude. How? I that only paid off like 200. I just realized that like none of my prescription stuff is selling like at all. I'm wondering, is that because of the skill level of my pharmacists? I'm kind of scared that stuff's not getting sold now because my pharmacists suck. Honestly, the daily salary from like these guys, these guys isn't like a whole lot. I might fire these guys and recruit these two or the... Honestly, both the Silver Swords. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and terminate Bilal. And hire... Okay, what do you mean there's no... Oh, cause... oh, we might have to do it after today. Okay. Well, then you know what? Let's go ahead and let Bilal finish out the day. And we'll hire Karen tomorrow. Honestly, I'm I'm going to be a little sad to let Bilal go, but honestly, his barber messed him up so bad. It's kind of embarrassing to the pharmacy. Yeah, I don't know. Look at him. It looks like he's kind of using his own supply here, not going to lie. Yeah, and his hair... Dude, his hairline's all receding everywhere. Like, yeah, I don't know, man. This guy just came from Turkey 100%. Yeah, for today, I'm just going to let our money stack up and hopefully pay some of our debts. Alright, we're about to hit level 28. I'm really hoping they give me a large amount of cash for 28. Oh, crap. Okay. I was hoping for a large amount of cash so I could pay off my debt. Because now it's it's getting a, like a tiny bit ridiculous. I've had a total of almost 5,000. I think that's that means that's how much I've gotten like seized from me. Yeah, so like I need to pay this off because I'm like hemorrhaging money for no reason. So, either way, though, I need to hire Karen tomorrow for sure. At least that's if the bank doesn't seize every single dollar that I have. Alright, it's almost time to close up shop. Only 10 more minutes. Alright, this I think this is the last customer, of course. Walking in 10 minutes before we close. Alright, shut up. <laughs> I didn't... I didn't even want you in here. All right, come on, guys. We're closed. Stop. No, dude. We closed. Dude, we literally closed a minute ago, and he still walked in. Bro, no way he came in after close just to weigh himself. Yo, these people are weird. Looking for protein. Bro, you don't need to look for protein. Go eat some meat, you weirdo. Alright, let's go ahead and end the day. Let's see how much money they take from me. Ooh, they took 1200 Debt, bills. Okay, so here's what I'm wondering. So I just... 1200 just got yoinked from me. Did that pay off my debt? Oh. So that's 
So that just paid off like my basically my interest or like overdraft. I still have over I still have nearly 2000 in debt, but at least now they won't seize my things. Okay, that kind of sucks, but at least now I'll just I won't be dumb about it. But I do want to still hire Karen. Okay. Yeah, I do want to hire Karen. Because hopefully, if what I'm assuming is correct here, Karen will be able to actually dispense some of these white prescriptions. Oh, okay. Yeah, now this is what I'm talking about, bro. This is a professional looking pharmacist. Even got the white coat on. Got the mom jeans on. What are these shoes? Skechers? All right, bro. Yeah, this is uh, this is what we're looking for here. I don't, I don't know about the name Karen here, but uh, this is looking like a real pharmacist to me. He's still getting there. Now I just gotta hire her husband. Uh, wait, okay, well, let me look at her husband. Yeah, John. No way he's slightly more skilled than her. That's crazy. But he's also a bit more expensive. 50 more dollars a day for what? Also, I wish they had the option to let me pay off my balance early. Because honestly, I would love to oh, just like pay it off instantly. You know what I mean? But I also am looking forward to a giant payday. Because at level 30, I unlock the red prescriptions. Which, I'm just going to assume this is like C2s. This is C3 through 5. And then this is just prescription non-controlled. That's how I'm going to assume that the guy who created this meant this to be like... Okay, if you guys don't know how drugs are classified, either controlled or non-controlled. Non-controlled medications have no risk of abuse or addictive properties. Now, if they are a controlled medication, they are broken up into Schedule 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. As you can see, I think I mentioned it before, but Schedule 1, high risk of abuse, no medical use. Schedule 2, do have a medical use, but extremely high potential for abuse. And then, as you go down 3, 4, 5, they are still addictive, still can be abused, but they get less and less of a potential to be abused. Dude, and I haven't even bought the vitamin or supplement license. That might be another thing I should look into. Oh, we got the pharmacy third shelf. Capacity of six? This must be for, like, either the green or the reds, because that's crazy. A capacity of six? Not gonna lie, we might be rolling through this game a little too quickly. I mean, I have been playing for at least, like, four hours straight, but we're about to hit level 29, and the last tier of prescriptions is le is 30. So, we I think we might have made it to max level, like, day one, which is kind of nuts. What am I holding in my hand? Oh, the Altafen. Yeah, like we're straight up about a almost we're gonna hit the the last the level right before max level. Alright, but at least at 30, I think I'm getting a giant payday. At least I would hope so, considering I'm unlocking the red. For now though, I'm just gonna keep stocking and hopefully not go broke by the end of this and get my thing foreclosed. Alright, we're not that far from 30, which I'm assuming is now max level, so I thought, you know, if we're gonna hit max, let's, uh, maybe just stay by the ocean a little bit. The sky is actually really cool. Uh, I think the sky looks really nice, although those clouds kind of look like JPEGs. Hello? Why did that s Okay, not gonna lie, this is kind of embarrassing. I actually got actually like I, I got scared for a moment. I thought that was like a sea monster. I know that sounded more like a motorcycle, but like I genuinely just had like a mini heart attack and I'm kind of embarrassed, so I'm gonna go back to the pharmacy where I belong. 
Alright, I'm hoping to at least get to 30, like, tonight before we close. That way I can kinda do everything before I start tomorrow. And I'm also, I hope I get that big payday, you know what I'm saying, when I hit 30? So I could pay off... Well, not pay off my decks, I can't pay it off, but... I uh, have enough money to maybe buy a few more shelves and also not go into foreclosure. That'd be pretty cool. Shouldn't be too many more. Yeah, I, I, I def... Okay, we'll definitely hit level 30 before we have to go to sleep tonight. Because it is... I've also been playing for, I think, over five or six hours straight today. Because I'm fully addicted. Uh, so... Uh, let's try to get to 30 at minimum before I go to bed. Because I probably will have to go to bed here pretty soon. Also, no way she's lining up to get her weight when there's, like, hey. Yeah, that one's definitely the genius of the family. Alright, come on. Just 12 more. And we'll hit 30. And then hopefully, again, that we're, we'll get that stack of cash. And... I know the game kind of meant for me to use that stack of cash on actually unlocking it, but I haven't even unlocked the green. Right now, I got bigger priorities. Also, are you guys good? All right, one more transaction. That should be 30. All right, there we go. So we got some prize money, red prescriptions, and an even larger medicine shelf. Okay, hold up. It says that we can go past 30, but there's nothing actually to, to unlock. Because that's, that's max right there. Exams, that's... We just have to get the money for it. Okay. So, as far as levels, I think we're maxed. Now we just gotta kinda coast for a while. Alright. Well, now that I've got a little bit of money, I think it's finally time to maybe take care of the pharmacy. We gotta really fix the walls and the ceilings and... Okay. Maybe even, dare I say... I don't think we should expand this way, but I definitely need a warehouse. Well, that's, that's a steep deposit, bro. Let's just buy it, man. Yo, why is it... Why is it so dark in there? Oh, you know what I probably need? I was buying these lights, not realize... Like, w sitting here so perplexed on why they're not working are these actually made for the warehouse hold on dude i can't see it is so dark all right hold on let me grab the other fluorescent light because i think i lost the other one in the sauce hold on hold on hold on and then hopefully we'll close up soon okay so let's open this box dude i have no idea how to use these fluorescent lights Okay, and it's so dark in here. Maybe... Hold on. Let's go to the next day. Maybe the light will help me figure out my way around. We'll let these guys finish shopping. Well, while they're doing that, maybe we can... Refill some of these shelves with random crap. Okay, I think all these guys are stuck. So... Wait. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. How about if we move this? Okay, we'll have to move this one too. Alright, can you guys do your thing? Also, this person is very much stuck, so let's go ahead and just move this for a moment. Two hours later. Did it happen? Did I finally... Dude, that actually took a hot minute. Hold on. Oh, don't tell me he's broken again. Did he seriously just move to another place? Oh my god. Do we gotta keep doing this until this guy figures out how to shop? Come on, bro. Just grab what you need, please. Okay, so, oh man, I was playing around with trying to get unstuck for the longest time, and I, I think I got it. Yeah, okay. 
Um, apparently, if something happens like that, you just kind of have to restart your game. I wish I would have known that earlier because I was trying to tinker with it for a very long time. Okay, let's look at the bank. Okay, so it took off like a little bit. Okay, good. Let's see, so we still have those two. Alright, so we need to do some major upgrades to the store here, but not tonight, bro. Not gonna lie, I'm a little tired. I've been playing a little way too long. The last thing I want to do before going to bed is take a look at the warehouse since... Now... What do I do with this? Oh, do... Okay. I don't even know what the point of this warehouse is, to be honest, if... I'd rather just keep all of it in the store. And this, these lights, I can't even use these lights. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. I think I think this might be something for tomorrow. Oh, I'm too tired for this. Okay. 